News for Women. Hello and welcome to the Frosty News for Women. I am Tierica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today is August 3rd, 2023. Here is the Feisty News for Women. Last week, representatives of the U.S. government admitted that aliens are real. A House Oversight Subcommittee held a hearing on UFOs, officially known as Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAPs. And this is what David Grush, a former U.S. intelligent official, had to say. I believe our government has made contact with intelligent extraterrestrials. Something I can't discuss in public setting. Um, okay, I can't ask when you think this occurred. <laughs> um, if you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. Although a Pentagon spokesperson told NBC News that Grusha's claims are false, this groundbreaking announcement was met with a side eye for many Americans on social media. Tak Hendricks wrote, gas high, rent high, hairstyle is high. I don't give a F about no aliens for real, for real. John Rich wrote, there's so much mistrust for the American government that they just told us aliens are real and absolutely no one cares. Kayla wrote, at this point, I'm sure I'll meet an alien before I meet the love of my life. And I'm wondering if extraterrestrial aliens will receive better treatment than the human so-called aliens seeking asylum this world. In other news, Grammy-winning pop star Lizzo is under fire by her former backup dancers who are suing her for sexual harassment and creating a hostile work environment. Oscar-nominated director Sophia Naili Allison backed up their claims when she revealed on her social media that she quit her role as the director of her documentary because she was treated with so much disrespect by Lizzo. Although Lizzo has crafted a brand that promotes body positivity, anti-bullying, and self-love, I believe every single accusation. But before we break out our claws, I think we can learn from this. The issue Lizzo has is the same issue that famous comedian and talk show host Ellen DeGeneres has. Before they were canceled for being bitches, both women were shining stars trying to rise up in a society that shamed and abused them. Lizzo's weight and Ellen's sexuality were likely catalysts for abuse from others for decades. Day after day, year after year, these women were barraged with insults and put downs from their own families and the general public. In case you didn't know, we can only give out what we have received. Their abusive nature likely stems from deep-seated anger from being abused. In most cases, the abuse becomes the abuser, especially when the abuse they received was never corrected with love and acceptance. I am not saying that being habitually abused excuses their behavior, but I am saying that when we encounter anyone with a naturally abusive nature, we have to step back and recognize that they have never been loved properly so they don't know how to love. When you continuously give someone lemons, they will not be able to create orange juice. Their abusive behavior should be viewed as a symptom of our damaged society. Lizzo needs help. She needs love. She doesn't need more hate. Well, it's time for a break. The new Barbie movie broke box office records while making Americans of all ages smile, but how did this feminist movie impact men? We have a feisty opinion when we come back. Don't miss it. Hi, Jazz here from JD Bath Co. My mission started with the creation of a vagina-friendly bath soak, Bomb AF, my love letter to women, but it didn't stop there. JD Bath Co. now has an entire line of clean beauty products made for sensitive skin. From our handmade soaps to our skin conditioning and clearing oils to our best-selling organic rose oil or one of our many organic vegan cruelty free body creams or the newly added line of body scrubs
JD Beck is located in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia, and we would love to have you shop with us. Come check us out at www.jdbathco.com. Look forward to seeing you. Welcome back. I am T. Erica with the Feisty News for Women. Girl, guess what? The Barbie mo movie debuted last week and moviegoers dressed up in all pink to celebrate the film's release. We expected women to love the movie, but some men actually enjoyed it much more. Today we have Crystal DeSantis, a therapist and author of Strong, a relationship guide for the modern man. Crystal, what is it about the Barbie movie that has made men sit up and take notice? So, yes. Well, first of all, thank you for having me on the Feisty, Tierica. I'm really happy to be here and have this conversation. Um, the Barbie movie is opening up some really interesting conversations between men and women. One of the really important and really interesting talking points that's driving a lot of the cultural you know, conversation around this is the depiction of the relationship between Barbie and Ken. So Barbie, she can be anything, like women can be anything, we've been getting that message, but who is empowering men? And so the depiction of Ken in this movie, you know, he's, he's the accessory, she's Barbie, she's everything, he's just Ken. Um, and so we start, we see throughout the movie, so of course it's called Barbie, it's about Barbie, but Ken's journey is actually the thing that is really fascinating. And a lot of men are, you know, having a lot of interesting conversations with their partners um, about Ken's journey, because he goes from only seeing himself in relation to his partner. So, you know, he only has a good day if Barbie looks at him, um, to then discovering you know, who he can be on his own. How can he be an empowered man on his own without taking power from a woman? Thank you so much, Crystal. Amazing insight. It seems that the Barbie movie is teaching us that men can have awakenings too. To learn more about how we can support men in their journey to self-enlightenment, follow Crystal at www.strong.love. Well, thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the feisty news for women.